Today we will be talking about the difference between SSH, TLS and SSL. All of these are cryptographic protocols and most of the times the beginners confuse between these protocols. TLS or SSL are the names of the protocol which is used to secure the data that is sent over the network. Let's say that you're sitting on a shopping website and you're going to pay by the credit card. The credit card information which you're going to send over the network, it is going to be insecure. So anyone sitting between you and the server, they can intercept and they can look at the data that you are sending. By using SSL or TLS, you encrypt the data that you are sending over the network. So no one sitting between you or the server will be able to understand what you are sending over the network. SSL or TLS is used with any network protocol such as HTTP, so we get HTTPS, or FTP we get FTPS, or SMTP we get SMTPS and so on. Now you might be wondering why do we have two different names for the same protocol. The names TLS and SSL are mostly used interchangeably. But SSL was the first version of the secure protocol that was never released, mainly because of the security concerns. The first official release was SSL 2.0, which was made in 1995. Then in 1996, we got SSL 3.0. And then in 1999, SSL was renamed and we got TLS 1.0. Then in 2006, we got TLS 1.1. In 2008, we got TLS 1.2 and the most recent version is TLS 1.3, which was released in 2018. Everything before TLS 1.2 has been deprecated mainly because of the security flaws. So this is what the SSL and TLS are, the protocols which are used to secure the data sent over the network. And TLS is the current version of this protocol and SSL was the older name of the same protocol. Next we have SSH which is a protocol to run the commands on the remote servers in the secure manner. Let's say that we have a website which is deployed on the remote server. And from our local computer, we need to check how much space do we have left on the server. To do that, we establish a connection from our local computer to the remote server. For that, we use the SSH command. So for example, we will run a command like this. It will establish a connection to the remote server. And then we will write our command on our local computer it is going to send this command from our local computer to the remote server. Remote server is going to run this command and send us back the results. And the result will be then shown in our local terminal. So this is what the SSH is. A way to establish secure connection to the remote servers and run the commands in a secure manner. And that is all for this one. In this short video, we only looked at the differences between these topics. In the future videos, we'll be going into much more detail about all these topics in the separate videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.